This rock is a typical Brazilian ataberite. This is the kind of rock that the Alliance have been targeting in both Bahia and Minas Gerais states of Brazil. These rocks uh, have an iron grade of between high 20s to low 40s, um, which is comparable to the, the banded iron formations that can be found in Western Australia and other parts of the world. Where this rock is really different to those uh, banded iron formations is um, in its ease that we can separate the magnetite from the, um, the silica that's remaining and turn it into a high iron product of you know high 60s. Uh, so with the magnetite and banded iron formations, what we need to do is use large infrastructure uh, to grind the rocks down to a very small particle size. It requires a lot of energy uh, and is typically very expensive. But what I'll demonstrate today is how easy it is to separate the, the magnetite from the silica. So if I was to get this rock and simply rub my hands all over it, you can see without any real effort I can generate a decent size pile of material here. If you look closely at that material you can see it's a combination of the white silica grains with the black magnetite grains. The black magnetite is the iron product that we would sell. So if I get this magnet that's on the back of the scribe, run it over that pile, you can see that I'm quite easily able to collect the, the magnetite, which would be the final product, leaving all of the silica separated from the final product. So in Australia, to get a rock that's this kind of grade of the, we call this mid-30s, uh, into a product um, of mid 60s would normally cost us 70 to 80 dollars a ton to mine it and process it but in Brazil this is typically mined and processed for less than 20 dollars a ton